Some researchers have found evidence of electricity in Egyptian wall carvings or ancient texts. Although there is no concrete evidence to support these theories, there is one artifact that some scientists believe is an example of a source of electrical energy. Despite its mundane appearance, this small, undecorated vessel could change scientists' official view of the history of scientific discovery. The object, believed to be a 2,000-year-old battery, was discovered in 1936 by workers working on a railway embankment in the Kajut Rabu area, southeast of Baghdad. The battery appears to have been dug up from a tomb dating back to the Parthian period, 247 BC, 228 AD. When discovered, the battery consisted of an oval container of yellow clay, 13 centimeters high, inside which were a rolled sheet of copper, an iron rod, and a few fragments of a material similar to modern asphalt. The asphalt had been used to seal the top and bottom ends of the copper cylinder, as well as to fix the iron rod in the middle of the cylinder. The use of an asphalt seal indicated that the object had once contained a liquid, as suggested by traces of corrosion on the copper tube, probably caused by an acidic agent, perhaps vinegar or wine. In 1938, German archaeologist Wilhelm Koenig, then director of the Baghdad Museum Laboratory, came across this strange object or series of objects, accounts differ, in a box in the museum's basement. After careful examination, he realized that the artifact closely resembled a modern galvanic cell or electric battery. Koenig later published a paper suggesting that the object was an ancient battery, probably used for electroplating, transferring a film of gold or silver from one surface to another, gold onto silver surfaces. He also theorized that multiple batteries could be attached to each other to increase their effect. The most conservative dating of the battery is now considered to be between 250 BC and 640 AD, but the first known electric battery, the voltaic pile, was not invented by the Italian physicist Alessandro Volta until 1800. So if this was a primitive battery, where did the ancients get the knowledge to make it, and how did it work? After reading Koenig's paper, Willard F. M. Gray, an engineer at the General Electric High Voltage Laboratory in Pittsfield, Massachusetts, decided to build and test a replica of the ancient battery. When he filled the clay jar with grape juice, vinegar, or a solution of copper sulfate, he found that it generated an electric current of about 1.5 to 2 volts. In 1978, Egyptologist Arne Egebrecht, then director of the Romer and Pelasius Museum in Hildesheim, Germany, made a replica of the Baghdad battery and filled it with grape juice. This replica generated 0.87 volts, which he used to electroplate a silver statuette with a layer of gold 1 tenth, 000 th of a millimeter thick. As a result of the experiment, Egebrecht speculated that many ancient museum exhibits believed to be made of gold might actually be made of gold-plated silver. Several replicas of the Baghdad artifact were made in 1999 by students led by Dr. Marjorie Senecal, a professor of mathematics and history of science at Smith College in Massachusetts. The students filled such a jar with vinegar, and it produced 1.1 volts. Judging by these experiments, the Baghdad battery was certainly capable of producing a small amount of electrical current, but the question arises as to what it could be used for.